<clears throat> all right, Shalawam to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. All right, just coming with another lesson. All right, uh, basically, it's going to be uh, to the point, man. You know, basically, just speaking about how basically, you know, we're not to be seeking, you know, the, the riches, you know, the material riches of, of this world, man. You know, and that is actually not what's going to save anybody, you know. And, you know, I've got a scripture I want to just bring out, you know, first off. All right. This is Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. You see, so those that are seeking riches, carnal riches, material riches, money and, uh, you know, things of, of that, uh, you know, of that sort. They're going to be, you know, wrongly, you know, and mistaken when they come to find out that that's not going to save them. You can have all the amount of, you know, um, money in, in the bank. You can have, you know, all, all these types of uh, riches and, you know, fame and riches that people try and seek after. But in these last days, it's not going to be salvation. OK, what are people going to do when the dollar crashes? All right. When this fiat currency that everybody's trusting in is worthless what are people going to do then all right when people can't open their bank accounts and there's only uh, um you know long lines of people trying to you know get answers as, as to why their banks are closed why they can't access their bank accounts okay that's not going to save anybody all right how is 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 uh, money you know and a million dollars or, or whatever amount how is that going to save you from nuclear destruction all right, from, from World War Three, How is money going to save anybody from famine? You know, when, when that you know, the inflation is, is, is skyrocketing, okay? A loaf of bread, you know, uh, uh, costing, a, uh, you know, a thousand dollars, a thousand pounds, whatever. So this is the thing, man. At the end of the day, salvation is not coming from material riches and, and, and money, carnal money. All right, but what does it say? But righteousness delivereth from death. Okay, so seeking after Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai and his word, that is what is actually going to deliver those, man. The scriptures tell you to, to uh, receive this word. All right, let me jump to that. In um, the book of James chapter 1 and verse 21. It says, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness, the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. All right. It didn't, <laughs> it did not say anything about a record deal. It didn't say anything about a million dollars in the bank. Okay. Salvation is going to come starting with this word. Okay. This truth is actually real riches, man. All right. Fleeing after the ways of wickedness and seeking after the ways of righteousness is what is actually going to deliver souls, man. All right, having faith in Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai that He's able to deliver us in these times of destruction, in these times of judgment. Okay, building, you know, getting built up and and rooted in faith in Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because the people that are trusting in riches, you know, or trusting in a doomsday bunker, or trusting in you know their their uh, assets. You know, their, their um, carnal assets, you know, property and real estate and all these different types of things. All right. When it all comes down, like, and, and at the end of the day, the bottom line is that none of that is going to save anybody because it's all going to be destroyed. All right. Let's get a precept on that. Uh, let's get. This is the book of, yep, First John chapter 2 and verse 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. Okay, so all the, and that's the thing, man. These people that are seeking after these riches, seeking after all the money and fame in this world, it's all tied up in wickedness. Look at all these celebrities, man. That's all coming out about how they get their riches. How they got to spread cheeks, bend over. All right, backwards, just to, 
you know, um, you know, just to get a leg up, just to get a, a deal. All right, you had Kanye West talking about he sold his soul, you know, and it was a crappy deal. You know, all these, you know, these, it always comes out, man, that they ended up having to do wickedness to get where they are because why they love the world, man. All right. It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. Yeah, all that stunting, you know, in, in, uh, in the sports cars, in the fancy, you know, luxury cars and, and, you know, luxury mansions and all that stuff. Like that, that's and that's the thing. All those people that that be doing that, all that's all the people that say they made it and they got the success and fame of this world through wickedness. By the way, okay, they got those things, but they still don't know the truth. They still don't know the true names of the heavenly Father and His Son. They don't know their their nationality. They don't know what what is coming to this world. They don't know the judgment the Lord's gonna bring, man. And ultimately, that's. That's going to be a, a big surprise to these people because they don't have the uh, understanding of prophecy. All these things in this in this kingdom, in this current setup, that sort of wickedness is going to be uh, destroyed. The Lord's going to judge this place, man. And those that are joined along with it and those that are holding on to the, the things of this world. All right, they're all going with it. Okay, look, it says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai abideth forever. You see, so the things of the world is going to pass away, man. These BMWs, these cars, and these, um, you know, limousines, mansions, all those things. What is that going to mean when nuclear destruction comes? What is that going to mean? When ICBM nuclear missiles destroy America, which is Babylon the Great, according to Bible prophecy. And all these other lands that get hit with these missiles in, involved in World War III. What's all these vanity and material riches going to mean in that time? Nothing. People are going to realize way too late that that's not going to save them. Alright? But what's going to save them is having faith and knowing Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, being of the elect. All right, repenting unto the Lord, man. All right, holding on to this word, man. That's how we're going to abide forever. All right, which is real love, man. All right, keeping the commandments. All right, seeking after the Lord, man. All right, let me get a last few scriptures before I close out. All right, this is Matthew chapter 6. And verse 19, it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Okay, yes, and everything on this uh, material riches in this kingdom, you know, on this side, it's all corruptible. All right? You can have things stolen. You can have things broken. Things, you know, uh, all manner of things can happen. Why? Because it's not permanent here, man. All right? And these people that gain these things in wickedness, they're going to find this out, man. And for a lot of people, it's going to be a little too late. Right? It says, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. All right? So if we be of the elect and we continue doing the work of the Lord and having faith in the Lord, enduring unto the end, all right? Then salvation is going to come to those that endure, all right? And make it. Okay? Because they were chosen, they were destined to make it. All right, the Lord chose them to make it. The Lord chose them to have faith and, and to do these, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the righteous, you know, show of faith, right? Do go into the highways and byways, right? You know, teaching the word, man. Okay? And nobody can take away your salvation, right? If you be of the elect and we're working towards that salvation, right? Getting beamed up onto the chariots of the Lord. All right, the deliverance from World War Three. that's the only way we're going to be saved from that destruction. All right, the Lord beaming up the elect into those so-called UFOs. Who can intervene in that? Nobody. All right. And ultimately, our reward is going to be in the kingdom of heaven, man. So that's what we're seeking. 
And that's going to be everlasting. That's not going to be corruptible. All right. That's going to be forever. All right. So none of this, these things that we see in this world right now, you know, these rich celebrities and all that stuff, none of that compares to what we're going to get in the kingdom. All right. For being faithful, for seeking after righteousness, having faith in the Lord. All right. Which is real riches, man. So let me close out with that. All right. This is um, Romans 11 and 33. Oh, the depth of the riches both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. So that, yeah, the depth of riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's real riches. All right. You know, wisdom and knowledge, you know, is better than, than silver and gold, man. All right. You can't, this, because this can't be bought. Okay. This truth and, and this faith has to be, given on high the scriptures tell you that a man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven all right so if, if you understand this truth if, if the lord has opened your mind to this truth to this wisdom knowledge and understanding that is real riches man and it's going to lead to actual physical riches we're going to be very wealthy in the kingdom we're going to have the most wealth all right but that comes through righteousness man all right and having faith man so Lord willing, this was edifying. All right. Uh, you know what? I want to close with this last scripture. All right. Just came into my mind. So kind of goes with it uh, well. Uh, it says... Understand if me. Let's see what comes up. That's it. Jeremiah 9. That's what I wanted. All right, I'll close with this. This is Jeremiah chapter 9 and 23. It says, Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. Yeah, man, we serve a, a, a loving, uh, balanced, you know, God, man. All right, power. Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. All right, and the glory is in the Lord, man, that we understand and know him, his word, his prophecies, you know, the things to come, you know. So these people that boast in their, you know, PhDs or, or in their certificates and, you know, wisdom of the world, you know, we'll see where that gets them in these end times with judgment. All right, we'll see where these people's money gets them in these end times and judgment, man. All right, because these people, they can't pay off an angel. All right, when a deaf angel is sent unto them, all right, an evil angel is sent to, to judge, you know, these wicked people, what are they going to do then? All right, so we're seeking the mercy of the Lord, man, okay, and praying for deliverance, all right, because we're at the end, man, all right, this is surely the last days, all right, and judgment is coming, all right, upon the wicked, so I'm going to end it here, Lord willing, this was edifying, I'll say all praises be to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Wahara, Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the elect out there, Shalom.